How are you guys? Welcome back into part 5 of our series uh, Instagram full stack Instagram clone up using Flutter, Node.js, GraphQL, Apollo, and SQLize. And in the last part, we were able to create our login, our login query where we would log in our users and get the J JSON web token. As you can see, the query still, still works and of course we could get our users back we will have only user only two users which is babu and babu2 so the task in hand as of now is to secure our operations because for now anyone can get a list of our users and that is not a good security practice so i think we need to secure our operations be it queries or mutations so the first thing is actually we're going to secure this get users query so only the logged in users can be able to get a list of the users so with that being said let us get started first of all we need to go into the app.js and inside the server which is running on Apollo so we're going to add something new known as context what context does context is all about authentication so I'll show you what we really need to do using this context so let us go back into our resolvers and the one thing that we are targeting here is get users so we're going to secure it with the context the first thing that we need to add, we need to add sorry for the interaction so let us get going so we need to add the parent we do not use the parent here we want to use the arguments the only thing that we're going to use in here is actual context so it has write an underscore and then double underscore and the last one is actual context so inside the try and catch block we're going to start using our context so if context Dot request and context that request dot headers dot authorization nice what we're trying to say is we want to get access to the context and of course the request the, the request that are, are sent within the context and of course the headers and authorization which is actual token we are talking about here so let us see what we can do so we are going to define our, our token so const token is equal to we are going to copy this all thing dot authorization dot split we're going to split our, our token into two parts and the first one is actually bearer you see it once we start using it and we're going to leave a space and we're going to concatenate it with the first string that it comes after bearer so you'll understand it once we start using it on the playground and of course we are going to use json web token to verify our token so jwt dot verify and pass in our token and of course we need to pass in the jwt secret which we created in in our case also so here speaking coder
and so we need to have two other things which is error and I decode it token So if we do have an error then I'm going to throw so if error we're going to throw this so throw new authentication error and then pass in the message you want to to show to the users and in our case it is it will be the user is an an authenticated so yeah and then you're going to define the user in here first of all we need to define the user on top of our version select user and after that you're going to say user is equal to decode a token so we are going to get our user from our context and of course the user is going to be equal to the decode token we got from a context so i think that is what we need to do but of course we do need to 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 add something here but first of all i think we need to test if it is actually working so save save it all and come back here so we need to log in then we need to copy our token so control c to copy it and then come in here and we need to create something here so do as i do so authorization And then we're going to pass in our bearer and the token we get from our context. So as you can see, there is an authorization followed by bearer and the, the token. So if we try to get in our users, we get all of them. So as we can see, it is actually working. So let us change the token by entering a new string or a new character and try to get in our users so we are, we are getting general return null for non nullable field query dot get users so this is actually a, a thing we need to to capture so yeah so if we remove it we're going to get back our users it is actually working so let us do something here so in the in the in our mutation in our query to finding users we are going to add something here so we want to exclude the username of our logged in user so we do not get it in, in the list of our users so we're going to add a where clause so where first of all I think we need to import something where username and then I need to import something from SQLize I think yeah so it is already here I think I wrote it so import this operation which is OP and import it from SQLize so you can help me a lot so OP dot n e which means not equal to and not equal to user which is the user we declared above so user dot username yeah and then we're going to return in our users as usual and of course we need to throw an error here so throw the error 
so save it and go back here again and if you are wondering why you are not copying the token it's because we we set the expiry expiry time to one year so it is going to be valid until it passes one year so if we're getting our users now now we're getting only one user so yeah it is working and if we alter this token then it is going to give us an error yeah oh my god error is not defined okay I want to do something error is not defined okay throw I think I'm error typo here throw error because this is what we defined so save it all and come back here login to get rid of and getting the user is unauthenticated so you can see the user is unauthenticated and yeah so it is quite looking good we have secured our, our operations uh, the first one which is get users and there is one thing that I want you guys to do before we leave it here because this secret is not to is, is quite confidential so we do not need to include it in our in our code we need to create a separate file so yeah we need to create a new file here and name it env.json and have it stored in here so we're going to say its name is actually jwt and of course secret and it is going to have a value of Swahili speaking coder but you can put anything you want it is actually more for your secret to verify if the token is actually coming from us so this, this is total up to you so we need to import it so const jwt underscore secret which is equal to require so config and of course env.json and then we need to start using it so control c to copy it and replace the solid speaking encoder with this one and of course in the login mutation we're going to do the same so do it and save it wait for the save up so let us test it login and we're getting our users our user back and with the token and if we get the user because we altered so we need to remove this we're getting our user so yeah this was it for this tutorial and i hope to see you guys in the next tutorial because we are starting we will start to connect our api to our front end which is a flat application and of course we will we'll write our mutations and query in there so hope to see you there and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on my social media instagram twitter facebook and yeah so you can ask me any questions if you are facing any problem with what i'm doing and of course don't forget i'm going to start uploading this code into a github repo so you can have access to it when if you are facing some challenges and so you can follow along so thank you and hope to see you in the next tutorial